and I'm just walking around trying to look busy and stay out of the way. I think that's what Miss Emily's doing too. She hadn't actually picked the thing up yet, oh, but she funny. looks real busy. And this is our video director. And action, get to work. Okay, all right. <laughs> And Emily carrying one, which is one more than I'm carrying, I have to say. So Andrea and Emily have done called it quits. Yeah, we didn't even get our first cage. They ran out of I here. Got got she one. got one, yeah. They ran out of here like they've been shot out of a cannon. Right in that second one right there, there's a bunch of red wasp. Way way back there. That'll do it. <laughs> So last time we did this, you saw us do it a completely different way. We went in here and funneled all these up here to the front where I am. We had our stock trailer here and we tried to walk them across a board into the stock trailer. It worked okay. We did probably about half of them like that and then the other half did not want to go and we had to try to force them. We eventually got them all in there and then we went out to the schooner and they wouldn't go out. So we had to wind up physically. The four of us picked up every one of those uh, from in the stock trailer, about 500 of them. Every one of them got picked up and handed to the other two people who were out of the trailer and in the schooner. It was a lot of hot, nasty work. And I'll go ahead and say it was the hardest part of raising the chickens last time. And it's the part we've dreaded this time. So we're taking a different approach. You can see we have loaded crates on there. Now you will have to have crates to do it like we're doing, um, but we're gonna take these crates and we're gonna take them in here. You can see they all wanna huddle together. We're gonna use that to our advantage. We're gonna bring in the crates, we're gonna load them up, and then we're gonna carry them out and load them on the trailer. And then we'll just carry the crates full of lots of chicks instead of picking up every one at a time and walking them into the schooner. It's gonna save a lot of walking, it's gonna be more work on this end, less on the other. You ready for this? Am I ever ready for this? No. No? No. This is one of the worst parts about it. That's what I told them, worst part last time. Plus you worked all day, so work some more, huh? Yeah, used to that, work all day at work and then yep. come home and work till dark. That's part of it though. If you're ever gonna make it on a farm, especially making money, it's gonna require work. So this is just part of it. We're gonna knock this out. I'll tell y'all after we're done how long this takes from this point forward. Does that make you proud that your son can back a trailer almost like an expert? Yeah, he has actually really impressed me on backing into the shop. Our <laughs> shop has got really <laughs> narrow sides. He can do it perfectly. His mom. Yeah, his mom struggles, doesn't she? All right, let's just say I can back a trailer. I'm pretty proud of my ability. But in tight, tight spaces when the pressure's on, that's when I get a little flipped out. Keyword, pressure is on. Yeah. She got broke into backing a trailer back when we had a ski boat and would try to back it into the lake. She would do good, but come 4th of July when it was crazy busy, that's when she got broke in. And there is people everywhere trying to get in and out. It's kind of hectic. Was that easier? It was easier. 
easier, but more any, laborious. Anything with the word easy in it at the moment, I hesitate to use. <laughs> It'll be easy unloading. It'll be easier unloading. We've done the hardest part. Maybe. 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 I think we have. Okay. Last one. Super just be a Cornish because it is still very small so it might have a permanent home here. So as you can see, we got them all moved. We actually just finished re-welding the uh, rebar on the corners of all this. So we've got a good electric hot wire all the way around this pin. We didn't do it last time, but we actually this time are right here next to our main hot wire fence, putting out a lot, a lot, a lot. Just ask one of the cows that got into it. Um, so we hooked this straight to it. Any varmint or anything tries to come around here and get in this pin, it's gonna get a good zapping. So. I think they're good. We'll be back first thing in the morning, feeding water. We're actually going to get the uh, the new water that I put in hanging from the ceiling. We're going to go get a new water hose for that, fix it all up. That way this thing will be good to go. We appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to go eat me some supper. And until next time, God bless.